If you've ever had a loved one suffer from Alzheimer's disease, you'll know it's devastating not just for them, but for everyone around them. New statistics out today show there's still an alarming stigma and lack of understanding in Australia about dementia. More than half of all Australians mistakenly believe dementia is a natural part of ageing when it's actually a chronic disease. The publishing legend Ida Buttrose is an energetic campaigner on the issue. She addressed the National Press Club today on the need for more awareness and attention and she joined me in the studio earlier. Ida Buttrose, thank you very much for coming in. Okay. Your speech to the Press Club today was titled Towards a World Without Dementia. Is that an achievable goal? Could we really have a world without dementia? We hope so. I mean, that's, that's the goal. And it's good to have a goal. It's ambitious. And, and, we're, and we're all working. Everybody in the Alzheimer's dementia field is working very hard to try and get that. And, I mean, the doctors will say to you that, you know, for the last 20 years or whatever, they've been saying, perhaps in the next five years we'll have a cure. Well, we haven't got one yet. But it sure isn't for one of trying. Because I think the surveys today show that a lot of people consider things like memory loss and confusion to be a normal part of ageing. They don't realise that it's actually a chronic disease. That's correct. And, the, and, that's one of the, and that's one of the myths that Alzheimer's Australia has to try to dispel. Because, because you know, the surveys show us that you know, more than half of all Australians think that it is, that dementia is a normal part of ageing. But it's not. It's not. And you've got to understand that you know, there's a big difference between forgetting where you might have put your keys and forgetting how to get home when you're out somewhere. You know, we are talking about a memory loss that is not just some little thing that happens to all of us. You know, when you, when you forget a name, it comes back. It's not important. But it's, it's, it's when you forget your own name or where you forget the street or where you live and, and you're lost. You can't get back there. And that's what we're talking about. So this idea that, it, that it's... Uh part of ageing. Has that affected the way government has approached the problem and does that need to change at all? Well, I think for a long time governments looked on um, dementia as only an ageing issue. And what, what Alzheimer's Australia has been doing and appears to have now achieved is to get um, dementia recognised as something that is in the ageing sector but also the healthcare sector. And, and it is now, and, and for the first time in Australia, it is now recognised as a chronic disease. And that's what it is. It's a chronic disease. How far away are researchers um, from finding a cure or a way to slow it down, to slow, in the case of Alzheimer's disease? Well, you know, I was speaking to someone today who told me about a drug that's you know, being developed at the company he represents, and they are hopeful, and, and there is a lot of that going on. But we won't know until the end of the year whether this drug will go into the, the next phase of development. But as I said to you before, there's a tremendous amount of work going on. And... You know, once upon a time, you know, we were told that there would, there would never be a cure for AIDS. And there, and there still isn't a cure for AIDS. But there are certainly lots of drugs that people can take that have developed. And sometimes you only have to take a drug once a week now or once a month for, to, to hold AIDS at bay or HIV. And, 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 they, and these are working. And these have been enormous developments. And, and so you hope that this too will happen with dementia. You spoke today about caring for your dad when he yeah. had Alzheimer's disease. And you said that one of your lasting memories of that period is um, the way that society can be very cruel to people suffering in that way. What exactly were the sort of things that you and your dad went through in that phase of his life? People don't, people find it difficult to relate to someone with dementia. Often family, not family so much, but, you know, friends stop calling because they don't quite know how to handle a person with dementia. But, you know, when you have dementia, you don't, you don't completely lose track of everything in your life. There are moments for some where you're, when you're perfectly lucid and other times when you're, when you're not. I mean, every dementia is different. And what I always say, and it's really important for everyone to remember this, that no matter how bad the dementia or the Alzheimer's, there is a person there. And just when you think they don't remember something, out of the blue they remember something. And so you think, oh, it is yeah. still there, yes. And we have to keep that at bay. And there shouldn't be a stigma with having dementia. Because after all, it is a chronic disease and that's the way we need to treat it. So we need to get over it. We need to realise that someone with dementia is still a person. They can still take an active part in the community, perhaps not doing what they always did, but they can still participate. We, we have lots of people that we meet through Alzheimer's Australia who, who are still busy and active and contributing, and many contributing towards the work that we do. It's amazing, given how many families and people would directly know someone affected by uh, dementia or Alzheimer's, um, that there is still any stigma really associated with it at all. Oh, because it's to do with the mind. 
And, and the one thing we, we all want to keep is our mind. I mean, dementia is the second most feared disease in Australia and among old Australians. It's Behind the, cancer, it, it, I think. Yes, among older Australians, it's the most feared disease. And so, you know, if it, the mind is, is, is something that is ours. And the, the thought of not having control over that mind, it's a, it's a very difficult diagnosis not only to make but also to accept. And, and so that's why people fear getting it diagnosed because they fear, as the surveys show us, that they will be discriminated, discriminated against in the community and also in the health sector. Ida Buttrace, thank you very much. Thank you.